what if I tell you that this car can be driven at 1,100 kilometers in just one single tank? That's a 1.5 liter petrol engine I'm talking about. Would you believe that? If not, I'm going to make you believe with this complete video. You have to watch it till the end so that you can get to know about the newly launched BYD Seal U, which is a plug-in hybrid car, comes with a lot of premium features, enhanced safety and a lot more. So, welcome to the Car Guide, welcome to the Bangkok International Motor Show. My name is Rishabh and today we are going to experience the BYD Seal U. Let's just begin with the unique design and the styling of this vehicle. So you're getting a good BYD logo here which is integrated on the front bumper. There's a frameless grille design which is integrated inside the bumper itself. So you're getting four parking sensors in front, 360 degree cameras, front camera, a radar sensor for the ADAS features it gets like the level 2, all the features are there. LED projector headlamp setup with the LED DRLs underneath and there are no specifically fog lamps but that is fine because of the overall uh, light positioning of this vehicle and again these strips you are watching these are not plastic these are aluminium strips which again add to the road presence and the beauty of the vehicle now if we even talk about the features of the ADAS this ADAS sensor is actually assisted by an ADAS camera with a dash cam also this is integrated dash cam present here which is again a very good thing because usually you get a factory fitted dash cam which is installed in it so this is an integrated one I really like that feature but anyways the ADAS features are listed here for your convenience so it gets automatic emergency braking, lane keep assist, lane departure warning, high beam assist and a lot more so here's the complete list of all the ADAS features so that you can get an idea regarding the BYD CLU now moving on to the side profile and comparing it with the other SUVs in the market we are going to compare it with the Kia EV5 I know that's an EV but that's the size I can judge but other than that if you are from the Indian market I would really like to suggest to compare it with the Tata Harrier and the MG Hector because in Tata Harrier there is a missing 1.5 litre petrol engine but this car has it in uh, if, even if you talk about the Hector it, we get a 1.5 litre but it does not give a very good mileage so this one does so which is why I am going to compare it with these two cars so here is the dimension chart also for your convenience to get a size idea of this BYD CLU now if we talk about the features here, you are getting a 19 inches dual tone cut, uh, diamond cut alloy wheels with 235-50 section which I believe is the perfect section because it gets a very sporty look because of the uh, low tyre wall like the small tyre wall size is giving a very good design considering that this is a 19 inch alloy wheels and just because of the 235-50 section it is giving a vibe of a 21 inch tyre just because the tyre wall is a little thinner so there is a minimalistic cladding over here body uh, coloured wheel arch and with the because this is the black colour so the car is also available in white and grey colour I will show you that as well so these, this is the colour I would really prefer to go for but anyways you are getting a side skirt with the silver finishing here a ground clearance of minimum 150 mm with the, all the passengers and the uh, luggage behind the boot and again if you talk about the basic uh, ground clearance so you will approximately run around 180 to 200 depending on the country it is going to launch they are going to tweak it accordingly even if you talk about Indian market then definitely this SUV is going to get at least a 200 mm of ground clearance moving to the features so you get a 360 degree camera right camera LED turn indicators on the ORVM the ORVMs are dual tone so black out on the uh, like the body colored on the above side and the below side you can get it like in a little bit of matte finishing so that's the whole design of this ORVM which is electrically adjustable and foldable from the inside and the controls are there on the door panel now if we talk about the overall design so I believe that this is a sporty boxy looking SUV with a roof rails with a set of roof rails over the top with a, which are very good quality aluminium silver finishing which again adds to the road presence of the vehicle and the chrome belt line starts from the ORVM goes all the way beyond to the C pillar here so there is a chrome door handles request sensor is on the driver door all four disc brakes are also available and this is where you are going to charge the vehicle from so it, it comes with a slow charger the AC charger and a fast DC charger too so it has a 18.3 kilowatt hour battery inside it which helps it to have a mileage of 22 kilometers per liter and again it helps also to get this vehicle at 100, uh, 1100 kilometers of total driving range with just a 60 liter fuel tank so even if you drive it on petrol only mode you are going to get around 18 kilometers of mileage but if you are going on a hybrid mode then you can achieve around 1300 of kilometers of driving range but if you only go for EV mode then you will get around 97 to 105 kilometers of only EV it means only electric range will be around 100 kilometers so I personally really like the plug-in hybrid idea that is because I am saying because uh, the plug-in hybrid technology gives you the benefit of an electric vehicle in terms of low running cost but it takes away the range anxiety you get with it so basically 
if you are driving around 25 kilometers or probably 50 kilometers a day that too I will giving a very big number if you're driving a 50 kilometers a day you can charge this vehicle and you can use it in an EV mode for at least two days you don't have to charge it again and you don't have to use a single drop of fuel in it so it will drive on EV mode only so you'll save the money of fuel you'll get the fuel economy and the fuel efficiency and the running cost of an EV so this is how you're going to use it but even if someday maybe once a month or maybe twice a month you are willing to take it for a long ride for around 500 kilometers 1000 kilometers you can use the EV mode and the engine mode and the hybrid mode so there is no range anxiety at all so you don't have to charge the vehicle again and you can just fill up the fuel and use the vehicle as it is and even if for short runs for the daily life running you can use the EV mode which is going to save you a lot of money now I hope I was able to make you understand how a hybrid system in this car or as a whole works. So if you still have some questions you can write comment below and I would love to answer them back to you. So this is how you charge the vehicle and there is another option to you just open it up, pop it up from the other side and you use as a few petrol only car because that's how you are going to fill the petrol. So this is the rear side. Now I personally like the overall this design. The high storm lamp is very very wide which gives it a very SUV-ish look and the spoiler is also extended to the back. And you have a shark fin antenna, defogger, wiper, washers, everything is present here. The complete wraparound setup of the LED tail lamp setup with ocean drops over the top again enhances the overall design and the vehicle's road presence. BYD logo here. So this design goes the way all the back or uh, goes all the way till the back. So you also get a DMI, the engine's badging here and again the BYD seal U badging is presented here. The rear defoggers, not defoggers, the rear reflectors are presented here. This is just for design. Reverse parking sensors are 4 and there is additional light on the skid plate on the bumper as a reverse light. So you also get indicators and reverse light here. Now if you talk about the features, so this has a reverse parking camera here and there is an electric tailgate present for your convenience. Now this is a great boot space not the best in the segment for sure but because of the electric uh, motor and the battery system it actually is reduced so this is where you're going to keep the tools and uh, underneath this there's the 18.3 kilowatt hour battery now if we close it talk, talking about the features you get two led lights for your brightness in the level you're getting a parcel rear parcel curtain here to keep some of your storage some of your uh, stuff here so this is removable that's a good thing you can just place it there and you can use this complete hole for the big bags and 60 40 ratio seats are split seats are available so that you can increase the boot space if you ever need it so let's go inside the cabin because there are some interesting features you would like to know before moving inside i would like to show the hydraulic hood opening with the insulation provided here and i must say this engine is just amazing because this is a 1.5 liter very refined engine with the electric motor here which is placed right here so this produces a 316 ps of power and 435 newton meters of combined torque now that is a great power for a 1.5 liter petrol engine and because of this electric motor, you are getting a good thrill and a good fun to drive element with this car. But again, I must say one more thing that the quality they have used everywhere is just commendable. Because the plastics, the rubber material, the hood, the insulation, the wiring, everything is top notch. And I would really say that this car does not just look premium, it is premium. So maybe it's going to get a pricey price tag, but... Fortunately, it's BYD, so they know how to keep the prices very affordable. So let's move inside and I'd like to show you something. Come. Let's just start with the door panel here. So you're getting infinity multiple speakers. Very good finishing on the plastic part and the leatherette part. This is also soft touch. This is orangish, copperish, tan finishing on the stitching. This is again a tan material with all the controls over here. So window controls, all the windows are one touch up and down. That's a great thing. Ultimately, you're getting a good feature here with foldable adjustable overwinds as I was talking about so this is how you're going to control them and again the central locking part is also available here now let's just close this you can keep up keep, keep a big bottle here with some extra space for your tissues and files and this is how you're going to operate the boot from this button now talking about the seat you get electrical adjustable seats which are available in slide recline height adjustment and under thigh support as well so this is how you can adjust the seat and definitely there's one feature missing lumbar support but I think that's fine considering the overall competition of this car so this is going to be priced very well so they have cut it some cost of the lumbar support and I guess that is completely okay with me because ultimately this car is going to compete with the cars like MG Hector and the Tata Harrier now one of the good things 
tilt and telescopic steering that's a great thing some storage is provided here fuel lid you can open from here and again the headlight level is present here so this soft touch material great ac wind design with piano black and silver finishing of the chrome then soft touch material over the top that's a very good design heads up display is missing unfortunately but the digital cluster actually looks like a complete air uh, airplane cockpit it feels like a BMW one, so that's completely digital, great quality, superb saturation on the colors and again the overall crispiness of the screen is what I'm getting attracted to. So there are steering mount controls, completely different design of the BYD logo, uh, BYD steering wheel, BYD designing of the steering. So this is how this chrome finishing and the silver lining with aluminium bits looks like. Steering mounted controls with the leather wrap finishing and black stitching gives you a very sporty look. I must say I'm like quite excited to drive this vehicle someday, I don't know when, but I would love to experience it. Anyways, you get the automatic headlamp controls over here, wiper controls on the left side. What else? So you are also getting a big dead pedal, there's some storage here with Type-C port and Type-A port, you can keep a lot of stuff here. But not just that, there are multiple plenty of things with this vehicle. So, but I would like to tell you three missing features I found till now, lumbar support, heads up display and missing pedal shifters. I personally love pedal shifters and this car should have pedal shifters because of the great power and torque it provides. And provides. So I am actually missing some fun with this car. You must be thinking that I am repeating some stuff but the quality is actually very good so I have to tell you again and again. So this is a BYD so you are getting again a rotatable touchscreen which is a huge in size. Android Auto Apple CarPlay wireless connectivity technology and the connected features of the BYD voice commands everything works perfectly fine and all the information and all the details you want are presented here like the battery these are the ADAS features these are the setting right now it's in Thai language uh, I am if I'll find it to switch in English language I will for you guys so that you can understand and so that I can also understand this is how you control the ambient lighting what what I can say because this is how the it is there are multiple set of like I probably there are 64 lights here total completely and you are also getting it underneath this so the so piano black finishing again with the satin chrome and the silver finishing looks absolutely premium so this is soft touch multiple airbags for sure soft touch soft opening glove box is also present but it is not cooled unfortunately uh, anyways you get two wireless charging pads a key charging pad here the electric knob for the gear selector as a crystal is also looking very nice electric parking brake here which uh, uh, not electric parking brake is the parking mode okay so uh, auto ac front defoggers hazard lamps uh, this blind spot detection feature idle start stop technology screen to just turn it off turn it on then you get the ev and the hev mode so you can switch it from here then you have the drive modes the start stop button is here which from which the engine actually starts so this is these are the cup holders you're getting the glove box the armrest storage is absolutely very very huge so that's a lot of space inside so you can keep drinks chips what not and the armrest also looks very very sturdy and of good quality the gear knob could have been a little bigger in size because it's a crystal it looks good so it could be more highlighted so the crystal size like this big probably double the size of this one could have been a very appealing uh, design but that's fine i guess it's okay so the company has decided to keep it minimalistic uh, other than that what else you're getting some storage here these seats are ventilated obviously and uh, this uh, co-driver seat is also electrically adjustable if it move on a little further you get a frameless design on the auto dimming irvm these are sunglass holders dash cam is presented here integrated which you can't see from here but you can connect with the app and use it then you have the led lights this is how you're going to control the sunroof and the sunshade which is touch based and it's a panoramic sunroof so you get a very good design so in terms of features you're almost getting everything moving from here you get a mic here you get a mic here then both of these are come, come both of these comes with a proper mirror and a proper light with ticket holder led lights that for sure Let's move on to the rear seat. I'm going to show you some space. Whether this car has it or not, let's find out. The best part of this second row is the flat floor it gets. So three person can easily sit here. That's a great thing. Ultimately, you're getting a good size seat. So the length is good. The width is good. So you're getting good ample amount of knee room. Under thigh support. Headroom is also fine. My height is 5'9 by the way. So you're getting good uh, headroom. So you're also getting a reading lamp here. The seats looks very sporty. There's some storage here, some storage here, rear AC vents. Type A port, Type C port for your fast charging needs and again some storage underneath it. But I would highly suggest you to keep the phone here while you are charging because that is a plastic part. So it, it may damage or probably it will just make a rattling sound. So piano black finishing here for a premium touch. Armrest and cup holders here for your comfort. 
थ्री हेडवेस फॉर ऑल दी पैसेंजर्स थ्री सीट बेल्ट ऑल्सो मल्टीपल स्पीकर सिस्टम एम एन लाइटिंग सिल्वर फिनिशिंग लेदर इट मटीरियल इन्फिनिटी ट्विटर एंड स्वीटर स्पीकर बोथ स्वीटर ग्रह ब्रेल्स हेयर एंड दीज सीट्स आर रिक्लाइन सो दैट्स अ ग्रेट थिंग यू कैन रिक्लाइन इट टू योर लेवल दैट यू वॉन्ट आई एम क्वाइट इम्प्रेस विद द रियल सीट्स मेजरली बिकॉज ऑफ द फ्लैट फ्लोर यू गेट सो दैट्स क्वाइट इम्प्रेसिव अनडाउटेडली द डिजाइन इज एब्सोलूटली वेरी वेरी गुड एंड अट्रैक्टिव एट द सेम टाइम नाउ द सील यू मस्ट लॉन्च इन अदर कंट्रीज टू डू लेट मी नो बाई कमेंटिंग बिलो लेट इफ विच कंट्री आर यू फ्रॉम वुड यू लाइक टू हैव बी वाई डी सील यू इन योर कंट्री आई वुड लव टू हैव इट इन इंडिया दैट इज वर श्योर वट इज योर ओपिनियन ऑन द बी वाई डी सील यू ऑल्सो लेट मी नो बाई कमेंटिंग बिलो लाइक द रेंज द प्लग इन हाइब्रिड टेक्नोलॉजी एंड वॉट नॉट इफ यू हैव अ क्वेश्चन कमेंट बिलो एंड आई लव टू आंसर दैम ऑल्सो देर इज अ बी वाई डी सील यू ऑल इलेक्ट्रिक वर्जन विद अ एटी एट किलो वट आर बैटरी विद अ रेंज ऑफ एक्चुअल फाइव हंड्रेड किलोमीटर दैट्स अ इम्प्रेसिव नंबर बट इट विल ऑब्वियसली कॉस्ट अ बिट मोर बिकॉज ऑफ द हायर बैटरी कैपेसिटी रेंज बट ओवरऑल दिस दैट दिस दिस वहीकल एंड दैट वहीकल बोथ आर एक्चुअली अ वेरी प्रैक्टिकल वहीकल्स फॉर द नेक्स्ट फॉर द फ्यूचर कमिंग इन सो वॉट इज योर ओपिनियन वुड यू लाइक टू हैव एन इलेक्ट्रिक कार और एन प्लग इन हाइब्रिड कार और अ नॉर्मल स्ट्रॉग हाइब्रिड कार do let me know by commenting below this was the seal you we have made a lot of videos for you guys you can hit the subscribe button so that you can get the latest car news car comparisons car reviews car news car news upset all right of all around the world and in the, in the indian market too so don't forget to hit the subscribe button share it, this video this car with your friends and family i'd like to see you in the next video until then drive safe take care love you guys bye bye